everyone, this is Miss Pink Mermaid and welcome back to another video. This is a video on how to record Minecraft PC with a face cam or without a face cam on OBS. OBS is completely free, that's the best part about it. There is no lag and that is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial. This is obviously something a bit different but I hope it helps you guys because everyone always asks me how I do this. So here we go, we're going to do a tutorial and I hope you all enjoy it. Alright, since I'm recording, this might be a bit difficult on uh, adding scenes and stuff, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, we're going to right click in scenes, hit add scene, and you're going to name it obviously whatever game you're playing. Alright, so my screen just went black there, so we just renamed this Minecraft, so we're going to pretend this is Minecraft, and you guys are going to pretend that this monitor capture is not there. Alright, so in a sources box, you want to right click, hit add, and game capture and you want to name it whatever game you're playing so obviously we're going to name it minecraft and this window is going to pop up and you want to select your application so you obviously want to select minecraft and whatever version you're using and right below it, you want to hit stretch image to screen and also select ignore aspect ratio so that will get rid of the black lines above and below your minecraft all right so I'm going to uncheck mine so it doesn't switch over to the Minecraft so you guys can see the tutorial. Alright, so basically you want to have Minecraft selected, obviously in the sources box. You want to right click on sources, hit add, and video capture device if you're adding a face cam. You don't have to do this if you're not adding a face cam. So we're going to add this and we're going to name it face cam, hit select, and this window is going to pop up and you want to hit... Um, device and you want to obviously select your webcam so mine's live cam sync hd there we go and right here in video you want to hit custom resolution so it doesn't fill up the whole screen and i'm going to make mine the smallest you guys can obviously make it whatever size you think is best fps is going to be 30 and everything else you just leave the exact same way it was and you hit ok all right and right there you guys can obviously see that my face cam has appeared so we're going to go full screen Whee! all right so we're going to hit edit scene and we can just do this look at the snake all right so there we go and we're gonna make this back this way all right so basically now I have a face cam in the corner but your guys is your minecraft obviously maybe a bit different so we're gonna hit select minecraft right there so now you guys can see what basically it's gonna look like when you do this so we're gonna hit edit scene and uh, we're gonna move my face cam we can move it into any corner really all right so as you guys can see this is what it's gonna look like when you're recording your Minecraft with your face cam. And obviously you could just take the face cam off just like this. Bloop. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put it back on. Bloop. Yeah. Alright, anyways. So basically, now I'm going to show you guys the settings that I use for my Minecraft recording. Alright, so what you want to do is right next to the sources and scenes box, you want to hit settings. And this settings box is obviously going to pop up. So in general, you want to hit your language. And you can name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, mine is the recording one. Uh, I've named it that. So that's all right. You guys can name it your name, your YouTube name, anything you want. But right below that, you want to select Enable Cursor Over Projector. And then you want to go to Encoding. And right here, there's Video Encoding and Audio Encoding. So my settings, I have selected the X264 for the encoder. And I have selected Use CBR and Enable CBR Padding. And my quality balance is 10 and my max bit rate is 8,000. You guys can obviously lower that if your computer specs aren't too great. And right below that, the audio encoding. Mine is AAC for the codec. The bit rate is 192. The format is 48KHZ. And the channel is stereo. Alright, and now you want to go to broadcast settings. Obviously, if you are planning to stream, um... You will have a bunch of different stuff, but I'll show you guys how to do that. If you guys do want to know how to stream your Minecraft or any other game with OBS, leave that down in the comments. I will do a video on Alright, so basically for your settings, if you're only recording your Minecraft or whatever game, you want to, in the mode, you want to hit File Output Only. So you want to select that. And the file path, this is basically wherever your video is going to go. So obviously, <laughs> here's all my videos that I have uh, that I've recorded. So, I'm going to hit cancel there. But basically, you guys can choose your output. You go hit browse. And you guys can go to anywhere that you want. And then you name it like this. You do Minecraft. And you hit save. Alright, now you want to go to video. And 
you want to choose your video adapter. Mine's AMD Radon, so here it is right there. And you select it. All right, and then for the base resolution, you want to choose custom. And my custom is 1680 by 1050. And for your aspect ratio, the best I've, uh, I think is the best is 85. So that's like the best one, so there's no black line. All right, and for the resolution downscale, I have chosen none, which is 1680 by 1050. For the FPS, I have chosen 60, which is really good for games. All right, now we're gonna go to audio, and obviously, you wanna choose your desktop audio device. Mine's the default one. Since everyone obviously has a default, uh, you just choose your defaults, and that will um, obviously play your audio in the background of your recording. All right, for these ones down here, you guys can just leave those exactly the way they were. All right, now we're gonna go to hotkeys, but basically, you guys could just choose whatever you want for these. You guys could choose U, a Z, whatever, or you really can choose whatever you want. I really don't use these because I don't, I don't really like using hotkeys, but you guys, if you guys like using hotkeys, there's a bunch of them right here for you guys to play with. All right, now we're gonna go to advanced, and right here, this is probably the most complicated part of the whole thing, just because there's a lot of buttons. All right, so for general, I have selected use multi-thread optimizations, and right where it says process priority class, uh, I have chosen normal. For the scene buffering time, I have chosen 400. Right here, you want to select allow other modifiers on hotkeys. For video, you want to choose your CPU preset. So mine is very fast, but if you guys have like, if your computer specs aren't too good, you guys will obviously want to choose the last three or four. And uh, but mine's very fast. Uh, you guys don't really have to go above. It's not really that big of a thing. So just, I've chosen very fast. For encoding profile, I have chosen high, you guys can obviously choose main, but mine is high. Alright, and you want to select use CFR, you really don't have to use this custom one, but here it says this allows you to set custom X264 encoder settings, but you guys don't really have to do that because it doesn't really matter. Alright, everything else you guys could just leave exactly the way it was. Alright, we're going to skip these two right here and go to microphone noise gate. And as you guys can see, this is obviously for your mic. As I'm talking, we could lower this, we could, you know, um, this will basically cancel out background noise or whatever you want. You guys can play with that, depending on how much background noise or whatever. Or you guys could do what I do and use Audacity for my recording. Alright, so now you want to hit apply, obviously, and hit OK, and that will close out this. Alright, so now you want to select your two things. All right, and as you guys can see, you guys can move this as well as you want because there may or may not be black lines. So you guys can move this wherever you want. You can make it small. You can just put it right in the center. But mine, I like to do it full screen just like that and have my little face cam right there. So anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. If you guys want me to do a video on how to stream Minecraft with OBS, I will do that. So thank you all for watching. If you guys want to download OBS, there will be a link down in the description. If you guys have enjoyed this and found it helpful, leave a like and leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.